We're going to slowly raise the collective left pedal and bringing us up into a hover. A traffic archer field helicopter, Victor Nisiero's on R22. Uh, lifting up from the northern apron, taxiing northern pad for a departure east of Climb 1000. Archfield. Alright, we'll taxi out to the yellow line and we'll do some checks. Alrighty, last chance checks. A so warning caution lights are out. RPMs are in the green, manifold pressure's 24. T's and P's are normal, control response feels normal. Tarot is clear before we whip the tail around. And we'll taxi out. Wind's coming from this direction, so that's where we'll take off. A traffic archer field, Victor Nisiero now rolls from the northern pad uh, on track, east of departure, on climb 1000. Archfield. Alrighty. Up, up and away. So what do you think happens if a helicopter has an engine failure? Uh, you fucking shit yourself. And... Yeah, so which way is the wind coming from, just looking at the water? Uh, I think it's coming from the northeast. Coming from the way. left, so yeah. I'd say the northeast. Yeah, it's exactly right. All right, I'm full control. All right, I'm going to cut the throttle now. Show you what happens if we have an engine failure. You ready? You always land into wind, is why we looked at the wind. You ready? All right, three, two, three, two, one. Oh, engines failed. See on the engine taco there. So engines down the bottom, but rotors uh, still got there. So what we do is we keep our RPMs alive by. Uh, allowing the blades to auto-rotate with the upwards flow of air and then if we keep our speed on and keep our RPMs alive by the time we get to the ground you can just flare with the remaining RPM and then you know once you run out of energy you sort of just sink and you know you use the rest of your RPM to cushion your landing so that's an auto, that's an auto-rotation we're only going 40 knots Fuck. All right, you ready? What are we doing now? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking All right, I'm going to show you some ag turns. Spraying our crops. Now, we always turn away from the wind so that yeah. we can turn into wind later. So we'll turn away from wind. Coming up. Oh. <laughs> and then around into wind. Yeah. And then we check out our next crop. Holy shit. We check out our next crop. So the next line is on here. And then we just, again, I'm not adding any power. Yeah. I'm just allowing the, the the helicopter to pick up energy again and then start start picking up speed. Oh. And again, the wind's coming from our right. You've got to consider that when the sun's low, you know, you, you, you don't want to really fly into the sun longer than you have to. But we've already sprayed this, uh, this line before, so we know that there's no sort of random trees or poles sticking up out of nowhere, no wires. What you, um, you can you can scare birds and they'll sort of yeah, fly yeah. up in front of you, but yep. you got you you know usually you're fast enough where it's not a factor. All right, which way is the wind coming from? That way. So right. we turn away from wind spray yeah. up, coming up and around. Oh, now for there with the, uh, amount of, we are two and then into wind, so you can have a look at your next crop. There's also a flare and turn, which is similar, but you flare first, so you do the flare and then you come around and turn. <laughs> And you got to keep your keep your tail up so it doesn't get to the ground. Oh my god! But yeah, that's about it. That is cool, mate. This fella is an absolute lunatic, and he loves it. But it's pretty cool.